Before we start, let's look at our end result. So we have, here we have a door that opens and shuts using no animations. This is all using lurping within code to make this happen. Uh, the cool part of this is that the animation can't get interrupted. So we can open and close as quickly as we want and also adjust it by just adding a few values here. So we can make the door not close all the way or make the door open more or whatever we want. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started by adding in our door. So I have a folder here containing my door model. I'm going to place that inside of my models folder. Uh, the store is available in the description. So we'll drag this in. And one thing I need to do is parent the handle to the actual door. And in order to do that, I have to unpack the prefab for to do that. So handle to door. And now I've got my door here. And if I rotate it, you'll see that it opens because the origin point is set to the corner there. All right, now we got the door in. Let's go ahead and create a script. I'll create one in my scripts folder. I'll call this door controller. All right, now let's go ahead and open that up. All right, we don't need a start method. All right, so first off, we need a reference to the door. So public game object door. And now we need our uh, open rotation. So the ro location will be when it's actually all the way open. So basically measure this in degrees. So open rotation, what it is for it to be closed. We can add another one here, close rotation and then another one for speed or so how fast the door will open or close and then a boolean for uh, opening so is the door opening All right now if we move down into our update method here we first want to create a vector 3 and call this current rotation or current rot and that is equal to the door transform local Euler angles so we want the local rotation and Euler angles if the door is opening and if current rotation dot y is less than the open rotation, we want to continue lerping the door open. So door dot transform dot local URL angles is equal to vector three dot lerp. We want to get the current start at the current rotation, and we want to move towards a new vector three which is just the uh, current rot dot x, the open rot, because since it's rotating on the y-axis, and the current rot dot z to maintain the current rotations. And then we want to put the speed in here and multiply that by times dot delta time, or time dot delta time. All right, and that is the door opening. So what we'll do next, uh, you can press control A, K, F, if you want to go ahead and clean up your lines. We'll say else so if the door if opening is not equal to true so the door is closing and the current rot dot y is greater than the close rotation we'll add the close rotation here and basically doing the exact opposite and done that is how we get this door to open so let's go ahead and go back into here low poly door drag in our controller we'll need to put a reference to the door i want this door to open up 90 degrees close is zero, and I want to move it to speed of five. Press play. Go into the scene view. And now if you just press opening, see that the door opens. And what's beneficial on this, rather than doing animations, is that the animation is interrupted by that. You can start to open a door and immediately shut it. Something else that is cool is we can set the close. So say we want it to not close all the way. So it's close will be 20 degrees. So we can open. And then when we go to close it, it'll actually stop, crack. So if you have a broken door or something like that, it won't close all the way. But that is essentially it. If you want to call this from another method, a good way to do that would be to add in a public void uh, toggle door. And then just say opening is equal to not opening. So this will just make it equal to the opposite of whatever it is. And then our update method is listening for that opening call. So we just call this from a raycast or a trigger box from another script and you can execute that. Again, the uh, door model is in the description as well as a link to GitHub with the full source code for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.